हेलो ऑल माय नेम इज कृष्णाक एंड वेलकम टू माय ब्लॉगिंग चैनल सो गाइस अनदर डेटा साइंस जनरल क्यू एंड ए वीडियो एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस कैन वी स्टार्ट डीप लर्निंग विदाउट लर्निंग मशीन लर्निंग नाउ दिस इज वन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन दैट हैज बीन आस्ड बाय मेनी पीपल हु आर एक्चुअली ट्राइंग टू एंटर इन द डेटा साइंस फील्ड एंड द रीजन इज वेरी मच सिंपल गाइज बिकॉज दे सी मैनी मैनी जॉब प्रोफाइल्स विच आर फोकसिंग ऑन डीप लर्निंग सो पीपल से दैट क्रिश कैन वी स्किप मशीन लर्निंग एंड डायरेक्टली जम्प इन टू माई डीप लर्निंग और नॉट दिस इज द मोस्ट कॉमन क्वेश्चन दैट आई बिन रिसीविंग फ्रॉम पास्ट वन टू टू वीक्स सो आई थॉट ऑफ मेकिंग दिस स्पेसिफिक वीडियो गाइज ना लेट मी मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड इफ आई वॉन्ट टू आंसर दिस गाइज द आंसर विल बी येस यू कैन डेफिनेटली लर्न डीप लर्निंग विदाउट लर्निंग मशीन लर्निंग बट when we are trying to enter into the data science field we should always follow the good practices like what are the exact good practices uh, that we should actually follow to enter into the data science field remember guys when i started my career i directly did not jump into deep learning because at that time particular time we used to get use cases for both machine learning and deep learning also guys i have in mo- in most of my career which i have actually spent more than 50 percentage of the problems uh, or the use cases were based on machine learning and more than 50 uh, less than 50 percentage of the use cases were based on deep learning so there was a combination of both machine learning and deep learning and you also need to understand guys not every problem statement needs to be or problem use cases needs to be solved with the deep learning it can be if it can be solved with machine learning then you don't have to go with deep learning because in deep learning you really require huge amount of data you really require a lot of resources like gpus and all but this particular question was very much necessary uh, for most of the students or most of my subscribers because they were seeing various job profiles you know where they were telling about deep learning computer vision nlp and all right so what should be the good practice okay now you are probably worried saying that krish i really need to work on deep learning profiles and nowadays if i see many of the startups they look at people who knows deep learning vision and nlp that does not mean that you really have to skip machine learning guys so i'm going to tell you a very good practice make sure that you follow this now see that that in machine learning right you have various kind of problem statements like supervised unsupervised semi supervised or, or reinforcement learning and deep learning also you have all this kind of techniques right and with respect to ann cnn rnn and then you have transformers bert encoders decoders many things right now if your interest is in deep learning obviously what i suggest to the uh students or subscribers or the professional people that at least try to start with machine learning try to complete at least two to three algorithms in supervised with both regression and classification with both uh, like in unsupervised also try to cover up two to three algorithms and with respect to semi supervised try to see some of the reinforcement techniques that's it okay now when i tell them it is not like see in in machine learning also you have so many algorithms if i talk about regression and classification algorithm more than 12 to 13 algorithms are there now if your interest is exactly in deep learning i would suggest start with machine learning guys but don't try to complete all the algorithms right because machine learning implementation is pretty much easy, easy because uh, you'll be having an sql learn libraries you'll be having the hyper optimization techniques all those techniques you can actually learn for some of the algorithms if you really want to learn uh, do some of the algorithms in regression and classification and probably put that particular information in your resume and you can provide all the information that you have actually done in the deep learning that is what i usually suggest students and professional people that do not skip machine learning at least some of the algorithms that you need to know and uh, if you remember guys in i neuron also we come up with various courses with respect to dlcv nlp that is nothing but advanced deep learning computer vision and nlp there person asks that krish what is the prerequisite and we just say that the prerequisite is python programming language and basic machine learning algorithms that's it right if you know this probably if you know one to two example of creating an end to end application that is more than sufficient okay but my suggestion will be that do not skip machine learning guys because i'll tell you one example the first algorithm that we usually learn in machine learning is called as linear regression and in linear regression there is a concept of gradient descent that we learn cost function that we learn the same thing we will be actually be learning in ann also guys that is the first algorithm in deep new uh, uh, deep learning itself which is called as artificial neural network we try to understand what are the loss function activation function and then we understand about optimizers this gradient descent is a type of optimizers so at least when you are trying to learn linear regression logistic regression which is a classification algorithm probably ridge lasso different different some at least to 3 to 4 machine learning algorithms and then moving to deep learning will definitely be beneficial now 
I know why you have asked this particular question guys because many people see different kind of job profiles you can definitely follow this strategy anyhow I have both my playlist that is created right in my YouTube channel you can also refer them so I hope you like this particular video always make sure that whenever you are taking this kind of decision it is not good to skip because tomorrow if you are going to the company they may be giving you any kind of work probably they may be giving you also machine learning they'll tell you that try to solve with the help of machine learning things okay we cannot provide you the gpu access and all right something like that so those kind of scenarios also you need to handle so i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed i'll see you in the next video have a great day thank you underdog bye bye